G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from the second day of the Hobie Australian titles here at Foster in New South Wales. We interviewed the top three yesterday, but there's only one of that top three remaining. Jack Gammy, uh, you were leading the first day, said you had a few fish out there and you might have had enough to get through today, but you've been overtaken by a couple of guys here. Uh, how did it play out? Not to my planning today. I sort of wasted a bit of time exploring new waters tomorrow, which is just a complete, that can get thrown in the bin for tomorrow and re new plan tonight, so... So that is the place. So you're still in third place. You're still right within striking distance. Is it, is it going to be back to what worked on day one or is it just going to be a brand new sheet of paper? No, back to what worked day one for the first couple of hours and then a new strategy for the rest, the second half of the day. It's not a, not every event we have the chance to win a, a national title. Is that going to weigh on your mind tonight? It weighed on my mind last night <laughs> and it sort of affected the way I fished today and, and I'm not going to let it worry me now that I'm not in number one spot. Now, you've, uh, you're only a young angler. You've got plenty of years to learn all of these tricks. Uh, you reckon maybe in 10 years' time you'll have more experience under the belt to manage those fish a bit better? I hope so. I hope so. Well, I've got two guys here who have got a lot of experience. Uh, and Alex from Western Australia, mate, you've never been on this waterway before and your bag weights have been going up every day. Put you in second spot at the moment. You must have had a great day today. Yeah, it was, um, it was pretty fun, to be honest. Um, I've, I've sort of come over and my goal was to get a bag each day and just go fishing, really. Um, I, th I had a pre-fish in the racks and thought, yeah, this is going to get hammered, so why not just go as far away as I can and go and fish flats? And, um, yeah, it's paid off today big time. So now, you said that uh, you might have lost a few kilos today with the amount of distance you paddled. How, how far did you go? Uh, I think something like 15 k's one way. Yep. So a long, a long way. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, there's definitely a few fish there, so um, I don't know that I can back it up tomorrow, but I'll give it a good hot crack and we'll see what happens. Now, you had one of the bigger bags today. Uh, tell us what sort of size fish were you getting? Um, it was odd. I came across a school and, and whacked two good ones, like bang, bang, in two casts, um, and then they sort of scattered off and then the weed come in, so it sort of got in my way. I couldn't really fish that spot really well anymore, um, so I moved around and sort of looked for the same sort of stuff and picked up another one, sort of left it alone and started heading back and just took my time to come back today. Well, that lake's a big lake. Uh, you've probably got a thousand spots the same as the ones you fished yeah. there. You've just got to find them in one day, don't you? Yeah, that's the that's the catch-22, and from never being on this water before, um, yeah, it's a lot of paddling, a lot of looking, and a lot of casting, and you just got to keep casting. Now, I think that uh, on the live stream we ran today, I think you got the most comments. As soon as you came on there and showed your big brim, all the WAs went crazy. You got a message for them down the tube now? Uh, keep watching, boys. Hopefully tomorrow I'll, uh, I might go one step better than last year. So, What's uh, what, what, is, uh, what does all the hamburger things mean? What does a burger mean? Uh, we, we got a thing. When you do stupid things, you get called a burger, so... I tend to do stupid things sometimes, but um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't tomorrow. Well, I don't mind. I think you won't mind them calling you a burger if yeah. you come away from first place with this place. Uh, I'm pretty happy as it is now. So, to anything better tomorrow, I'm even more stoked. So it's good. Well, there's that one man who's quite dangerous. I'll swap spots with you here, Alex, and uh, that's this man. You've won world titles. You've won national titles here before, and I think that's over multiple species, isn't it, Richard Summit? And you had a good day. Yeah, it was uh, quite a good day actually. It was a little bit just got. A little bit luckier than what I did yesterday. A uh, lot of bad luck yesterday. A couple of fish dying and, um, and just getting roasted. But uh, a couple of day, uh, a couple of fish today actually zigged when they should have zagged, and that makes a difference. It's like cricket, isn't it? Like a bad day levels up with a better than average day, and uh, you're, you're where you're used to being, aren't you? At the top of the board. Oh uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'd like to sort of start with the pointy end. <laughs> but um, no, no, it's 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 a lot of it's a lot of fun. Like I said, I enjoy myself out there today, and. Uh, it was uh, up a bag quite quickly this morning, by about 7.40, and just, like I said, didn't go far at all, just went up to the paddock, so I just stooged around for a while. Now, tell us about, you weighed the biggest brim today. Take us through that fish. Take us through the cast and the fight, and uh, it was pretty exciting, I hear. Uh, yeah, I, um, I threw, into, <laughs> threw into this spot where I actually got my big fish, uh, my bigger fish yesterday. And, uh, and when I got that big fish yesterday, I just left it alone, just moved away from it, and I went back there this afternoon, threw in there, Clunked it straight away, and uh, and he just zoomed straight out. And when he zoomed out, I saw the size of him. He went under the front of the kayak. Immediately realised his mistake. Turned around, and started trying to power back in, but like twelve pound line, lock drag, and and uh, like a four to five kilo stick. So it had a nasty little bend to it. And I pulled him up to the surface, went for the net. He dove again. Nearly got back there, and I pulled him up. It's really not a fair fight, isn't it? You'd go, what, sort of in your 80 kilos? He's only about 1.17. Like, he got a bit of an advantage. Uh, not How can they win? Sometimes. I know. They seem to win a lot more than what I do. So, uh, they've, like I said, I've been dusted up numerous times again today. Um, I managed another kilo tar wine as well. 
yep. which always gets the heart in the mouth for a second, and then when you realise what's in the net, you just, yeah, back over the side in disgust. That's it. Well, there's the, the three leaders' uh, take on their day-to-day. -day. Um, all of the information for today, and indeed all of the Australian Championships, can be found on hobiefishing.com.au, and make sure you check out all of our live streams tomorrow. It's going to be a really interesting, tight finish.